Welcome back, ICP gang, ICP fam. Once again, we are looking at the good old ICP peas. Anyway, uh, before I do get in the video, if you guys could leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff, really helps the channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. Let's me know that you guys would like to see more uh, ICP, or like to see me cover ICP more. And it's like giving me a fist bump, and I really do appreciate it. Otherwise, uh, I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are on ICP. Do you think it's going to be reversing from here? Do you think we're going to go down, make a higher low, and go? Or do you think ICP is just gone forever, and we're, we're living, I don't know, in a simulation? Anyway, um, what are we looking at right here? You potentially have, like, your megaphone structure. Megaphone? Gramophone? Whatever you want to call it. Um... Anyway, with that being said, at least right now, you do have this green candle on the four hour time frame for ICP, which is, I guess you could possibly consider it bullish or uh, bullish engulfing. However, um, what you kind of have to take note of here at the very least is this being like the third try up through here. So you really need to at the very least if you were to come back down you need to hold uh 379 if you end up losing 379 then you are going back down um otherwise like i said this does look like your gramophone structure kind of and that being said that would be more of like your continuation pattern thus implying that we do have more upside to go from here which would be uh pretty cash money if you ask me now we turn that stuff back on on and well which by the way should you actually end up dropping lower you do have a double fib level right here so i would look for it here next if you were to like break the low again um you have 1.4 and 4 and the 1618 right there so i just watch out for that um and then you do have those areas but for the time being uh, I am just gonna hide them because well, it's Kind of a bit cluttered and I don't like it So Let's get rid of some of this stuff All right, great It should be good enough for now Actually, I do want to remove one more thing if I can find it There we are all right, so looking at just like this bear chart right now and you know at that point let's My apologies that this is taking so long All right, so what are we looking at right here? So one of the key things here as well for ICP is this like white line right here so this white line is going to be your inflection line. You can see it was a clear uh, support for a while. Now, if you do end up coming back on up, this would be a potential resistance area. That being at about $4.11. Now, this is a continuation pattern and we do heading head back on up. I would watch out for here carefully. If not, maybe a little bit higher around like 418 ish. Um, and well, as of right now you haven't necessarily broken through any other highs except for this like prior high over here which you guys can see what we were talking about earlier with that like 379 you do have the valley high at about 381 so that is also another um reason why you should bounce there and you did bounce off the poc over here as well which was at this low so heading back on up we can turn like this fib on you did end up hitting the 382 i uh, didn't hit the 50 level so if we were to actually change this around for ICP in the short term, I suppose. You could look at it. In this sense, you did go back down and hit this 50 level uh, quite perfectly. And you're actually, you do have the 382 right here. So you could, that's at 376. All right, so we're going to just say that 376, that's going to be the lowest point. You end up losing 376, five, then um, you are going lower in my opinion. At the uh, minimum, you go down to 359. But otherwise, heading back on up right here, you do have 315, uh, $4.40, and then um, 
448 and wait the first one wasn't 315 it was uh four 431 uh 431 five actually that's where i read 315 i kind of just skipped over the four um but uh this area right here would make sense for rejection as well which we highlighted that box already so uh we'll look out for that and then i guess the point in which you do flip back bullish again i would say is really 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 getting at least back up above into like the 480s because that gets us past like this really inflection point or that gets us up to the main like inflection point anything really higher than there would be a fat w for icp um and yeah now overall outside of that scam wick you could say that you made a higher low because that scam wick was like brutal to be quite frank so uh, i guess ultimately what we are looking for right now is seeing whether or not this ends up holding uh should it end up holding right here and we move up minimum look for th about 315 which does that line up actually no um but yeah so other than that none of this is financial advice these are all not 315 431 i keep messing up anyway none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos